Hi friends, this is Goldie and in today's video I will show you how we can create forwarding filter in Gmail which means we can forward either all of our emails or maybe a selective emails to somebody else when it when they land to our Gmail box. So my use case for today is that I have this work email address which is work at my domain dot com. I also have this personal email address which is personal and my domain dot com. Now what I want is that when somebody sends an email on my work email address, till the time it matches certain criteria, only in that case these emails should be forwarded to my other email address which is my personal one. So for that first thing we need to do is enable the forwarding and for that let's go ahead and go to the Gmail of your mailbox uh, settings and go to forwarding and here add a forwarding address so now let's see uh, mine is personal at my domain dot com once I click on next it's We'll say proceed and that email address is added. Now, because it was on the same domain, so it did not ask me to verify that I, that I actually own this email address. But if you're planning to forward to some other uh, domain or maybe gmail.com or Yahoo or Outlook, it will send a code on that email address which you just copy and paste here so that Google uh, verifies that you are the owner of this email address or you have authorization to forward emails to that address. Now you should not click on forward a copy of all emails unless you really want to forward all your emails to your uh, other ID. In my case I only want to forward some selective emails and for that I will create a forwarding filter. So now let's see how we can create that. For that I will go to filters and blocked access and I will click on create filter. Now here you can give your criteria. So my criteria is that only forward emails if they have words uh, like either urgent or maybe it sucks. So if if my email which is coming to my mailbox if it has any of these words then only forward email to my personal one else not and I will click on create filter with this search now obviously you can put more criteria whatever you want like form or to or subject size and has attachments or does not have words and so on click on create filter with this search and now when you come here it will say forward it to just click on that and that then you should be able to use the forwarding email address which you just set up when we started this video so click on this and in case if you have any existing conversations that match this you should be able to select it in mine in my case there are none so I will just go ahead and say create filter now this filter has been created and we will test it out but just a caution here that you can create a maximum of 20 to 0 forwarding filters in Gmail. Okay so this has been created so what I'll do to test it out is I have this email address I will go and send an email two emails to my work account uh, I will say this is the first one and say it's urgent okay send it and I will send another one and this time I will say this is the second one and I'll say it's uh, it's whatever now the idea is the first one contained the word urgent that means it should be forwarded and then the second one uh, did not contain the word urgent or sucks that means it should not be forwarded so now if I go to my personal account as per the setup we got the first email which because it has the word urgent but not uh, the second email because it did not uh, had any of our words urgent or sucks so hope it helps if you have any questions uh, please feel free to put uh, your comments and I would be happy to help. Thank you so much.